you are designing the logo for a single problem, right? So the very first thing is to project your horizontal line, then project a vertical line. So having done that, we are told that point A B is a parabola with the vertex at A. So what is the height of this parabola? The height of this parabola is what is 1.5. Why it span? Yeah, the width, the span is what is 75. So let's develop parabola A B now. Let's develop it now. Okay. So, but first of all, I'm going to measure uh, one thing. Yeah, after measuring one thing, I'm going to measure more than 5 out of the one thing. Then after doing that, so from this area, I'm going to measure my what? My 75. My 75. Alright, this is my 75. So, This junction here is my point B. So I haven't done that. The next thing is what develop my uh, parabola. Okay, so I'm going to bring out a curve now. Okay, so that's the parabola on AB. That's the parabola on AB. True. We notice that uh, our focal point from the midpoint D, our focal point is what is length 67. Length 67. So I'm going to measure 67 towards the left and right hand side. This is my F2. This is my F1. Okay, so using focal point method to develop an angle. Take note of this from point O, from point O to this junction here. Okay, that's our what? That's our major axis. Yeah, from point O, I'm coming from point O to this junction. That's our major axis. So just place the same dimension, place it on point F1, and strike an arc on this vertical line. I'm striking an arc on this vertical line. So the portion where this axis make with my vertical line is point D, and that is what that is my minor axis. So now I'm going to develop the ellipse using the auxiliary circle method. A semi ellipse. Take note, a semi ellipse. Okay. So this is my minor. That's my minor. Okay.
Okay, so I'm getting the point. The next thing is to what? To draw out my elliptical curve. Okay, so I haven't developed uh, the ellipse C D. Okay, so the next thing is uh, from point G, which is this junction here, from point G, the distance there is what is 15 towards my right hand side, 15 towards my right hand side. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do that now. 15. Okay, so this is that mark of 15. And I'm going to uh, draw a projection line on that side. Okay, I haven't drawn a projection line. I'm going to taking this portion out once and for all. Okay, I haven't done that. So from this area, the distance there is what is 0 0.5 centimeter or 5 mm. Projecting it upwards. I'm going to join it. To the junction here okay so from point g you join the top here okay to the top and that's what i'm doing from point g that's this area for you all right that is that area for you okay so which means from this portion here down here is what is 15. it's 15 mm all right so and this is the next thing we are told that uh, on that agent of the edge, yeah, you can see the angle here, which is at what at 90 degree, at 90 degree, which is going to be in alignment with uh, this very horizontal line here. Okay, so you're going to be in alignment with that. So how do we go with that now? How do we go with that? So it's just as simple as this. Please, your now mind you, it's from uh, that focal point F2. From focal point F2, but it is going to be parallel. It is going to be parallel to uh, tangent uh, E H. It is going to be parallel to tangent E H. Focal point A2 parallel to tangent E H. Okay. So, and this is this are going to okay then I'm going to turn this one to the top there then okay so that area is it so the what I'm having left now is uh, to develop uh, the portion MD, yeah, the code MM is an identical portion of semi ellipse. Okay, so on that point, then we are actually developing a quarter ellipse, yeah, one over four of the code ellipse. That's what we are developing here. So let's do that now. Let's do that now. We are told that the height from point D is what is 30. This is 30. Project it out. Okay, so this is that is 30. So that DL is our major. This point L. Okay, so. D to L, D to L now is my major diameter. It's my major diameter. So I need to get my minor before I proceed. I need to get my minor diameter before I proceed. So how do I get my minor? Turn my compass down. So I'm going to make this as the dimension for my minor axis. So this is my minor axis now. Drum. Then D to L. Is my major axis. Now it's my major axis. So I'm going to develop the helix on this point now.
okay so these are the points where the curve of my ellipse will pass through so the next thing is to develop it out with my was with my french book okay okay so i haven't developed uh, this more almost deep. so the distance from this midpoint to what this area is what is 15 and that's the 15 so i'm going to project it upwards So that is that about about that. So let me just do the dimensioning. Okay, so that is the dimensioning of the full drawing. That's the full drawing properly dimensioned. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also click the like button. It won't bite. It won't bite. It won't bite. Alright, thank you.